Everybody loves a little bit of mystery, whether you're the grandpa or a teacher or the fun uncle. Sometimes it's just cool to have a little thing kind of in your skill set where you can provide people a little bit of mystery. You don't have to be a magician, although if you are a magician, this is a great video. I'm going to show you my favorite fingertip vanish. I do this all the time. This is probably the, the vanish that I use most. <laughs> whether it's in my shows or when I'm just trying to impress somebody in the hallway, whatever. Uh, and all you need is a coin uh, and a little bit of time. And I'm gonna show you Pete's fingertip vanish and this is a creative life skill. Creative life skills will help you be creative if you do them. Um, creative life skills will make you a more interesting human. Okay, right out of the gate, there are just a zillion magicians who have uh, fingertip vanishes that they do. This is mine. This is the one that uh, uh, I kind of came up with for me. Uh, I'm sharing it with you. It might be similar to others that are out there, uh, but I've never seen anything quite like this one. And I think what makes this one a little bit more different than the others is that it's an overhand vanish. I'm putting the coin into my hand, not facing up, but kind of pronated like this. So. Uh, it uh, it just go, goes into the hand just like that, and then it is retained in my right hand. So I'm gonna change I'm gonna change the camera angle, and we're gonna take a look closely at what's happening here. Okay, so the biggest thing first is that uh, you gotta hold the coin like this. Okay, uh, so. And, and really, this is, I, I've become so used to it, this is, this is how I take coins from my hand all the time now. Uh, I'm, just so, I'm just so used to it. A lot of times I, I find myself picking, picking coins up like this, you know, but, uh, but anyways, it's, it's sort of, to me, it's an interesting display because it shows the hands completely empty. There's no gimmicks. There's no thing that's going to pull this up my sleeve. Uh, so it's, uh, and I do kind of like this too because it puts the coin way out far from my hand, you know? So it, it, it's, here's the palm of my hand. This is about as far away from the palm that I can get a coin. It's way that away. The, the vanish looks like this. And then you can point to the hand or whatever it is, and then it's gone. And I've got it here in palm. Uh, classic palm. I do have a video on, on classic palm. If you're uh, fuzzy on what classic palm is, check out my palming video. Uh, this is, uh, I guess we'll call this just for our purposes, fingertip clip. Um, but uh, here's here's what's happening is it's kind of this is this is this falls into the um, genre of fake takes. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm acting like I'm taking it, but let's pretend this hand isn't here for a second. I am just going to move this coin into this position. So this looks kind of, but here's what's important. You gotta, don't start in this position because that seems weirder to me. It's best to start with all fingers out. So not like this because then the audience or your spectator sees, sees movement. Well, actually, <laughs> that looked kind of good. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but I've come to uh, believe that if you keep all of the fingers splayed, it makes more sense for these two fingers to get curled in when you're 
putting the coin into the hand, especially since you're going to end up with one finger just pointing at the hand. And then you you shuttle this quickly into into a, into classic palm. So it goes like this. Take and so the mechanics back here, I'll show you this. Uh, it looks like this. Now, check out the angles on this. Nobody can see that coin. It's hidden back here. But it is, it is gone. I mean, it's, it's, it, I have never been caught on this Vanish. This is a strong uh, position for your fingers too because it's hard to drop that because that, you're clamping it so good. But it's, like I would be acting like I'm taking it and then the finger just goes like this. So let me let me get behind the camera so you can see that even better. Okay, so I'm, I'm like this and then I act like I'm gonna take the coin but what really happens is that whole thing. Now remember, I like to have all four fingers out because to me this makes more sense um, or, or, or actually, it's just a better way to hide the move because if you start like this, the whole idea is you want to have as little finger movement as possible with this. And if you're like this, the audience can sort of see you kind of coming around and grabbing it. But if you're like this, it makes, it, it doesn't seem like you're grabbing anything. It just seems like you're collapsing those fingers in. So that's the logic behind that. But anyways, um, you can fool around with however you want to do it. But you're going from this position to this position. Once you're here, it's very simple to now point with one finger and I am in now classic palm. Classic palm is kind of like home base for magicians. Once you've got your, your coin into classic palm, everything looks kind of free and easy now. And I can drop my hand to the side and, and nobody will see a coin from the front. So. The thing about coin magic is there's always going to be weird angles, but on this, there's not, it's not bad any way you slice it. Here it is a 50 cent piece, so this is even smaller, so look at if I, if I do the move like this, look, can you even see that? It's so covered up that even from my side it's, it's gone, but from the audience over who's, you know, your spectators, it's really gone. So if, if this is a 50 cent piece and that's good, then a quarter, tiny little quarter, I can just about cover a quarter up with my thumb, you know? So if I go like this, now there's no way, <laughs> the angles on this, it's like bulletproof with a quarter. It's so, it's so little. So the idea here is you just want to get this, you know, you, and you can, with a quarter, it's hard to sh push it into palm. You can kind of do it, but uh, finger palm is good enough with a quarter. Let me switch the camera angle again so you can see uh, how to take with your with your left hand. Okay, back to the front. So, got my coin. I'm gonna do, it's the fake take. So I'm acting like I'm taking it. Now here's the fine print on this. You don't wanna grab up past your knuckles, these knuckles, whatever knuckles these are. Your, your middle knuckles. <laughs> you, you don't want to, you don't wanna grab like up here because uh, or basically, this, nobody would buy that. Uh, you, you know, what is what are they grabbing their whole fingers for? No, you're just grabbing where the coin is. And and plus, you don't want to see this. You don't want anybody seeing the dirty work going on the other side of your hand. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're grabbing low. You're grabbing, you know, right where the coin is. Okay, so, uh, and then again, this is a fake grab. You're not really grabbing it. You're just, you're, you're, act, you're acting, you, you know, you're, you're faking it. Uh, so you're coming up here and I'm really, again, here are my knuckles. I'm not covering those. So it, it's, it's about this deep like that. So if I were to show from the bottom side, it looks like this. Maybe I will do a bottom side angle just so you can see what that looks like. But uh, again, I'm not going deep. Coming in, got my coin.
moving it to here. And again, check those angles out, man. I mean, this is, I can do this surrounded. I, and I have just all the time. And, and it, it goes by everybody. Once I'm in palm here, it's just, it's just, you know, it's gone. So like this and like every good vanish, uh, here's the other fine print. You don't, you want minimal activity with this hand, okay? So it's gotta look like natural things. That's why I have these fingers out so that when I'm putting the coin into this, into my left hand, it looks like I'm just making two fingers. I'm not starting with two fingers and now kind of grabbing it like this. I'm, I, I, want my, I want my fingers splayed so it doesn't look like I'm doing a grab, okay? Now the coin is hidden here. Now, if I'm gonna move this into a uh, palm, the best thing to do is to just go into a single finger point like that, because then I can be there. Now you, again, you want minimal movement. So when I'm doing this, when I'm doing this, I want everything to look uh, copacetic. That time I went into a 10 chi palm, you got options, you know. Uh, I can go like this and, and now I'm into you know, kind of a, uh, Nowhere finger curl palm. Just so this is crystal clear in your mind, I'm gonna show you how this looks from below. Uh, and again, too, uh, you should make sure that your hands are relaxed, okay? Relaxed looking hands always makes everything look smooth. That. Okay, one more time. Take, point, gone. Okay, so with a coin, the nice thing is you got the, you got the flatness. You know, it's a it's a e nice easy thing to hide uh, for a coin, and then you can do the I got nothing in my hands move. But this is also a really good vanish for things that aren't coins. Okay, so I got a just a regular red die here uh, from a casino. This is one's from a casino. It's got the casino mark on it. Um, same thing. So you're going like this. Now the one thing I would I would say that when I'm doing more like a 3D object, I get my thumb in this little window right here just to block out any view. And so the and and I uh, I just sort of keep the the, the object in finger palm, which then from there is easy to move into palm, classic palm too. So starting with this object like that, going like that, it's gone. And a lot, of, one of the ways I get into classic palm with a 3D object is I just put my, you saw me do this in the, in the uh, intro, uh, I just put my hand on my chest. This is great because this tells the spectator, oh, empty hand. This looks like empty hand. And then if you can pull it away, and there's still nothing in your hand, except there is. You, you, that this also tells the this is you know the audience members don't know what to do with that. So this looks like I'm I'm legitimately vanishing an uh, uh, an audience. I'm legitimately vanishing an object like this. Uh, I put my hand on my on myself, or I could put my hand you know on on my by my pocket or whatever. Um, and this just helps me get into palm into into classic palm. So go like this, it's in finger palm now, here it is. But if I take my hand, you know, I can kind of roll this, if you can see that, but roll the dice <laughs> into, into classic palm. Uh, anyways, these are just, you know, things that you can fool around with and do, but works great with something like uh, a die. If you're a magician, maybe you do the cups and balls. Well, this is perfect for that too. And so again, to when I do this, I like to make sure you, you could flash if you're like this. So I like to make sure that this thumb is closing that little window. Then you're golden. Then nobody's seeing anything. You know, again, the uh, the, the angles on this are really very good if you're if you're like this. Okay, so it's gone, and I can easily go into the point move, and I'm already in classic palm. So. That's uh, what you can do with a, a ball. And this is a kind of a big ball. This is like a bigger than an inch diameter basketball. When I'm doing a sponge ball routine, 
I am using this, this is my predominant vanish. I'm using this more than any other vanish. But anyways, you've seen these, everybody's seen the sponge balls, or it looks like a clown's nose and and whatever. But uh, you know, there's all kinds of ways to make a sponge ball disappear. But I've really come to like the fingertip vanish because it's so open. Again, too, this is an overhand vanish. So, oh, I, I probably did it too far. You kind of saw that disappear on this side. So, I want to make sure that it doesn't. But again, I'm closing my windows with the thumb. Just like that. And uh, now it, it disappears. So it's great for coins. It's great for uh, dice. It's great for uh, little tiny basketballs uh, or super balls or whatever. And it's great for sponge balls. So lots of possibilities here with with this vanish. So that's about it. I mean, this has been my workhorse. I do this vanish every day, and I I, I love it. It's very deceptive. Uh, and if you're gonna do this, just remember, practice this. Don't do this in front of people until you're comfortable. Make sure your hands are nice and supple and loose. Uh, and you're gonna have a stunner on your hands. People really have no explanation for where the coin goes. Uh, and it's, uh, it's just been a real worker for me and it's a lot of fun. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, I hope that you will uh, think about liking and subscribing, uh, and I will see you in the next video. So until then, my name's Pete, and this is A Creative Life. Bye-bye.